Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. With the Flames of Hopes' hype beginning to die down, a lot of fans have been wondering where the series will go from this point forward. I already did a video in the past titled The Future of Rings of Fire, although we have a lot of new information regarding the future projects in the series, so I decided to do an updated version. Huge spoiler warning for the Flames of Hope. If you haven't read that book, then please click off the video. Also, before we begin, huge shout out to my patrons, Crazy Roblox Man, Lord is Opod, and Dragolover95. Thank you so much for supporting me. Links to their social medias are in the description down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. The closest Wings of Fire project is going to be the graphic novel adaptation of Moon Rising, sparking the beginning of Arc 2 in graphic novel form. I know a lot of people were worried that only Arc 1 would get turned into graphic novels, but thankfully we have the official confirmation from Tui and the cover to show that we'll be getting more. The release date is December 27th, 2022, so it's a little less than half a year away. I know it seems like a very long wait, but I honestly think it'll be worth it. I can't wait to see some of my favorite characters in graphic novel form, and there's so much potential for this one. Other than that, we don't have too much information. As usual, I will update you guys if we get some more news. It hasn't been confirmed, but I think it's safe to assume that we will be getting ARC 3 graphic novels sometime in the future as well. The second upcoming Wings of Fire content is going to be the guidebook, A Guide to the Dragon World. It will be releasing March 7, 2023. Okay, I know that seems like ages away, but I literally cannot contain my excitement for this. Wings of Fire is long overdue for a guidebook, and this is going to be absolutely awesome. Tui has stated that it is a long, updated guide created by Starflight and his friends. We only know a few things for what this guidebook has in store, but here is all the information we've received so far. Tui has said that the events of the Scorching will be addressed in A Guide to the Dragon World, which I think is going to be an updated version of the story. I hope we get some more information. I definitely think that the dragons use the humans' cave drawings as reference while researching for the guidebook. As shown in the Flames of Hope, both sides have a different story of it, so I think it'll be neat to see the scorching from both perspectives. The guidebook will also reveal why Raymonds became pacifist in an ancient letter. I think this will be very interesting to see and could provide a lot more information on the history of the tribe. Perhaps they became pacifist after the time of Darkstalker, or maybe even considered it way before that. I think it's entirely possible that the Rainwings heard about the awful conflicts between the Icewings and Nightwings and never wanted their tribe to go through the same. Regardless of what the story is, I'm incredibly interested to see where Tui goes with this. I think the answer will shock even the modern-day Pyrians once they undercover this major piece of history. Something that is going to be super cool is that we're going to see full-color pictures of each of the queens. They're each going to have their own bios, and I'm so excited to learn more about all of them. As we said in the past, we're going to be learning not only about the queens and the main characters, but also dragons that haven't been introduced or mentioned. Her example was Scarlet's husband and what happened with his story. But even just seeing some, hopefully, new art of the current queens is going to be such a treat. And lastly for the guidebook, Toei is going to be fulfilling her promise on giving us more Mudwing information. There will be a segment on each of the tribes, and she stated that we'll be learning how Mudwings get their names and how they're raised. It's going to be a lot of fun to learn more about the seemingly forgotten tribe, and seeing more of their lifestyle will probably be one of the highlights of this book for many. There's going to be so much featured in this 240-page guidebook, and I'm so pumped to see more information regarding Pyra and Pantala. Moon Rising's graphic novel adaptation of, and the Wings of Fire guidebook are pretty much the only confirmed pieces of Wings of Fire content that we know of. I think the main thing that the fandom has been discussing lately is if there's going to be an arc 4 or not. I've talked about this in the past, but with the way the Flames of Hope ended, there doesn't have to be. I think Tui deliberately made it open-ended, that way we can imagine things ourselves, but also so it wouldn't feel out of place if we did end up getting another arc. With how things were set up, the two biggest possibilities for a possible arc 4, either dragon and human relations, or the next generation of dragonets. Personally, I would prefer the latter. Tui has said in the past that she'd be interested in writing about the next generation, and the idea of it is a fan favorite. Some likely protagonist candidates would be Bumblebee, Auklet, Cliff, Dusky, or some other young characters that we haven't seen too much of. There would definitely have to be a time skip of some sorts, and the arc could follow the adventures of these dragonets as they have to face threats of their own, while also worrying about living up to the expectations and high standards that have been set up by their predecessors. 
With the Dragonets of Destiny ending a whole war, the Jade Winglet stopping a 2,000-year-old Animus Dragon by themselves, and the Secret Stealth Team fighting against a seemingly unstoppable queen, this group of Dragonets might feel like they have to do the same, or be the same, as the ones who came before them. It would definitely be pressuring to grow up in a world where you're taught all of the good things the generation before you has done, and how you're basically expected to do the same someday. It could mirror the endings of basically all the previous arcs, saving the world, but in your own way. Just think about it. The Dragonets of Destiny managed to stop the war without unnecessary casualties, or leaving the Sandwings with the Dictator. They didn't follow Morrisier's plan of how things were supposed to go, yet still delivered what the prophecy said, just in their own way. Jade Winglet stopped Darkstalk without killing him, and proved that dragons from other tribes can get along. Luna managed to stop Queen Wasp without starting an all-out war and preventing things from getting worse than before. Each of the protagonists forged their own destinies and saved the world in their own way. Maybe the upcoming Dragonettes could have the opposite problem. They want to save the world, they just don't have any prophecies to tell them how. However, an arc 4 is yet to be confirmed. Many fans feel as though the story should end from here and just continue in Winglets and Legends. What do you guys think? Would you be interested in me pre-writing arc 4? Let me know down below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!